Hi, it's Katrina. The aquarium seems like a pretty safe place, but after today's video, you may think twice about your next visit. Just kidding. Have fun and learn lots when you go, but keep an eye out because here are eight strange things that happened at aquariums. Number eight, a stolen shark. During the summer of 2018, two men and a woman stole a 40 centimeter long gray horned shark named Helen from an interactive touch tank at the San Antonio Aquarium in Texas. They smuggled Helen out of the aquarium by wrapping her in a blanket and pushing her away in a baby stroller. Staff members noticed water dripping from the carriage and repeatedly requested to search it as they followed the thieves into the parking lot, but they were brushed off by the trio, who claimed that their baby was sick and needed medicine. Police thought they were being pranked when they received a call about a stolen shark, but luckily Helen's kidnapping was caught on surveillance footage. Two days later, the thieves confessed to the crime. Authorities had traced the license plate of the getaway car the group drove away in, and they knew that they had been caught. The mastermind behind the act, 38-year-old Anton Shannon, was apparently a marine enthusiast. Leon Valley Police Chief Joseph Salvaggio told San Antonio TV station KSAT that when officers went to Shannon's home to retrieve Helen, they noticed that it was filled with various tanks containing fish and other marine species. Salvaggio also said that Shannon appeared very knowledgeable about marine life and stole the shark because he was trying to replace one of his that had recently passed away. Shannon was arrested on a state felony charge for stealing Helen. About a week later, he found himself in more hot water and was charged for stealing pots and pans from a department store. This takes kleptomania to a whole other level. The shark was already traumatized enough by being in a touch tank, let alone taken out of the water for such a long time. Number 7. The Shark Tank Skinny Dipper One man decided that it would be a fantastic idea to jump into a shark tank naked at a Canadian aquarium in October of 2018. Hours after committing an assault outside medieval times in downtown Toronto, 37-year-old David Weaver proceeded to the nearby Ripley's Aquarium where he disrobed and leapt into the dangerous lagoon exhibit, which contained 17 sharks. The footage was caught on video and went viral on social media. He fled the scene but was apprehended the following week in Thunder Bay, Ontario and was transported back to Toronto to face justice. Weaver faced a total of three charges for the assault and for his skinny dipping stunt. A judge ordered him to stay at least 100 meters away from Medieval Times and Ripley's and at least 50 meters from his assault victim. He was also required to seek therapy for alcohol abuse and attend anger management. After posting his $2,000 bail, he was released from custody. This story is proof that if you're thinking of doing something absurd for shock value, humor, or any other reason, just don't. And leave the poor sharks out of it. Number 6. Shark Tank Shatters in February 2017, at the Aquario de Mazatlán in Mexico, a shark tank containing 13 different species shattered. The incident happened after an 80 centimeter thick section of acrylic glass detached and collapsed, causing a small leak. That small leak quickly turned into a bigger one, and as cracks appeared in the glass of the enclosure, millions of liters of salt water spewed forth. As the aquarium flooded, emergency services rushed to the scene. Thankfully, the hole wasn't big enough for any of the tank's inhabitants to escape, and emergency responders were able to close it back up. Even more fortunately, the leak occurred after the aquarium had closed for the evening and there were no visitors present. The incident drew widespread criticism, including from local politician Fernando Pucheta Sanchez, who asserted that the aquarium had been reopened in an irresponsible way that past December, after undergoing eight years and millions of dollars of renovation and construction work. Additionally, local media claimed that the aquarium's director, Milay Quintero, had been warned days prior to the incident about some breaks in the enclosure and that a structural review had been requested by aquarium inspectors. Number 5. People Fall Into a Shark Tank Nearly 20 years ago, 10 visitors fell into a 400,000-gallon, 20-foot-deep shark tank at the Aquarium of the Americas in New Orleans, Louisiana. The group was on an after-hours tour in August 2002 when the footbridge they were on collapsed, causing all 10 people to plunge into the shark-filled water below. There were four children among them, and for 15 terrifying minutes, the group thrashed around in the tank as they awaited rescue. If this were to ever happen to you, there is no need to panic and thrash around. That is not the best idea with sharks. Most of the 24 sharks, which ranged in length from 8 to 10 feet, were frightened by the ruckus and avoided the group. Not that it made the experience any less terrifying for those who went through it. 
There was supposedly one particularly brave shark that lurked beneath the frightened swimmer's feet, according to the account of an eight-year-old onlooker named Amanda Cruz, who stated its lips were peeled back and its teeth were showing, an allegation that the aquarium later denied, pointing out that the sharks were well accustomed to humans due to frequent divers in the tank, and they were also well fed. Kids do have vibrant imaginations, but businesses also tend to protect their reputations at all costs, even if that means downplaying the seriousness of an event. Who do you believe? Let me know in the comments! While there were no serious physical injuries, the incident left psychological scars on some of the victims, including a two-year-old little girl who woke up screaming later that evening due to nightmares. Number 4. Shark Jumps Into Swimming Pool at the Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas in December 2008, a female reef shark bypassed the one-foot-high, 18-inch wide barrier around her exhibit and tumbled down a pool slide called the Leap of Faith, ultimately landing in the hotel swimming pool. The 12-year-old shark initially survived, but her body was unable to handle the chlorine content of the hotel pool, and she died shortly after being returned to her tank. According to hotel staff, the shark never posed a threat to humans, not only because the incident occurred before swimming hours, but because it had swum with numerous guests in its enclosure. In a statement to TMZ, the resort said that they believed the female shark jumped out of her tank after being startled for an unknown reason, or maybe she was just playing around. It's hard to say. They also, not surprisingly, mentioned that she was well fed at the time she landed in the hotel pool. Number 3. The Great Escape in early 2016, an octopus named Inky escaped from New Zealand's National Aquarium, proving that members of the animal kingdom are often smarter than us humans give them credit for. Or as you already know, because you saw my octopus video from a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't, be sure to check it out. First, Inky moved the lid to his enclosure, which he shared with another octopus. During the night, he slipped through a small opening, landed on the floor, slid across, and squeezed into a narrow drain pipe, which led to the open ocean. Freedom! If this story sounds familiar, it's because this was the inspiration for Hank in Finding Dory. Aquarium staff figured out how Inky escaped by following the trail of water he left behind. In the aftermath of the escape, Rob Yarrell, the aquarium's manager, described Inky as an octopus who was very inquisitive and liked to push boundaries. He had been donated to the aquarium in 2014 by fishermen who had caught him in Pena Reef. At the time, he was battle-scarred from getting into fights with other fish, and who knows what else. Employees quickly took to Inky, whose inquisitive nature made him rather likable, and some employees were favorites while others were not so much, and he would try to shoot water at them while they were cleaning his tank. According to marine biologist James Wood, who has worked with octopuses for many years, it's surprisingly common for them to escape from captivity. They have the advantages of being intelligent and having soft, boneless bodies that can navigate through tight spaces. There were no hard feelings on behalf of the aquarium following Inky's quest for freedom, according to Yarrell, who said, We'll miss him, but we hope he does well in his new life. Number 2. Great White in a Tank what happened at the Monterey Bay Aquarium in 2005 was an example of just one of many reasons why great white sharks cannot be kept in captivity. The aquarium officials decided to try and keep a great white shark in a tank. They put her into an exhibit with several other species, thinking that as long as the occupants remained well fed, they wouldn't attack each other, which is normally the case, but not with great whites. Despite receiving plenty of nourishment, the five and a half foot long, 100 pound great white attacked and fatally wounded two of its tank mates. The female shark had been at the aquarium for about six months when she snapped and decided one day to take a bite out of two soup fin sharks. Since we don't really understand their behavior that well, it's hard to say why. Following the attacks, officials made the wise decision to release the great white back into the ocean. She was lucky compared to other great whites that have been put into confinement, as most of them died tragically within days or weeks of being placed in captivity. I wonder where she is now and how she's doing. Number 1. Mysterious Illness More than 100 high school students reported having a flu-like sickness in May 2018 after attending prom at the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. In the days after the dance, 111 students from Victor J. Andrew High School were confirmed ill, citing symptoms consistent with norovirus. Investigations into the cause of the mysterious widespread illness were launched by the high school, the food caterer, the Cook County Department of Public Health, and the aquarium. The food that was served at the prom was quickly ruled out as the source of the sickness. 
To make things even stranger, over 24 kindergartners had become ill with norovirus when they visited the aquarium 10 days before the prom, and none of the kids had eaten there. Norovirus can cause severe vomiting and diarrhea and is very contagious. Although health officials vowed to determine what caused all these children and teens to fall sick, this information was apparently never made public. And while all signs point toward the illness having been contracted at the aquarium, some of the prom attendees reported in a survey that they had been experiencing symptoms before the event, and the aquarium therefore deserves the benefit of the doubt. I hope your next visit to an aquarium is a little less eventful than any of these I just told you about. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Origins Explained. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this. See you next time. Bye!